All right, let's look at how we might implement a quadrature multi modulator. So a 4PSK signal could be seen as the sum of two BPSKs and can be generated by a quadrature modulator like we saw last time. So here's one BPSK signal, here's another BPS sig um, signal, and we just transmit them using quadrature signals, which we learned in uh, the previous module. And what happens is, uh, actually in the digital domain, we've got our large series of data we want to transmit, and we put it into a, um, actually it's a symbol separator. It basically takes this data and puts all the, uh, every other bit there, every other bit there, and then our quadrature modulator uh, transmits those just like we'd seen before. Um, and as I said, the incoming data is divided up and then modulated with cosine and sine. Um, we call this data I. I call it I for in-phase and this one Q for quadrature. And likewise, this is the in-phase component of the signal. This is the quadrature component of the signal as we talked about in analog modulation. So there's some important questions here. Uh, the two signals which we just added have different data, right? This is different data than that data. Um, but they have the same bandwidth and they have the same uh, transmit frequency. So once again, how do we transmit both of them? And just remember that it's because we have orthogonal carriers that we're able to transmit each one of these. Okay, so this is how simple quadrature for PSK um, would work. Let's look at some other uh, different uh, architectures that'll give you a little bit better idea about how digital modulation can work.